Of the We've issued uh, orders today that uh, we're going to really try to enforce the ordinances we have against them. There is an ordinance against selling them to a minor. There's an ordinance against a minor being in possession of them. That's a minor under 21 years of age. Where do you think they're getting these guns? They've been buying them from some of the local sporting goods stores, and uh, the stores are being notified also of the violation, and we're asking their cooperation in uh, stopping the sale of that particular gun. First of all, when you realize that Antarctica is as big as the United States and Europe combined, covered with a mass of ice that in places is 15,000 feet thick, you will immediately realize that such a mass of ice as that does have a great effect upon world weather and climate. Certainly it is the greatest cold weather factory in the world. Furthermore, the very fact of the ice itself is interesting. Uh, the ice in glaciers the water vapor in the air and the water in the sea are all related. The more ice there is on the land, the less water there is in the sea. Conversely, if the glaciers were to melt and the melt water flow back into the sea, it would have a profound effect upon all the world. And if all of the ice in Antarctica, which by the way has 90% of all of the ice in the world on it, if it were all to melt, the sea levels would raise as would rise as much as two to three hundred feet. Now this may seem like an empty scientific statistic, but it isn't. These things happen much more rapidly than man supposes. It's only 10,000 years ago that the great ice age began to disappear from my own home state of Minnesota. And uh, if man expects to occupy this planet for thousands of years to come, these are things that he's got to begin to think about now. It's within the realm of possibility that if the ice continues to melt as rapidly as it has for the last 50 years, that we shall actually want to try to do something to stop it from melting, to keep the sea level from rising. Are the ice caps at the, the ice cap at Antarctica melting? Is there evidence of this? Oh, yes. We know, uh, we know that it's much thinner than it once was. When I was there 30 years ago, I found mountain tops, glaciated mountain tops, a thousand feet higher than the present level of the ice. Dr. Kaplan, has Russia contributed and cooperated effectively in the IGY? The answer to that is uh, yes, they have, and in a remarkable way, considering the political difficulties that uh, exist. Cooperation hasn't been perfect. Uh, and most of this, I think, is due to the fact that we were dealing with an unprecedented situation. More data than we ever expected, data harder to reduce, fewer people available. And sometimes the data exchange didn't occur on the time scale we envisaged, but that was mostly due to our own ignorance. Dr. Van Allen, how will these radiation bands affect future space flight? Uh, well, they present a problem, all right. Uh, we do know now, though, that the outer band is relatively easily absorbed. On our last experiments with Pioneer 4, we found that the outer band is almost completely absorbed by four millimeters of lead, a rather thin sheet of lead. 
Now the inner band, however, is quite penetrating and it will not be at all feasible to shield it out. So I think the uh, direction of, uh, uh, of space flight must take is essentially to avoid the inner band. That is to say, either remain below it. Now in the first experiments, the simplest thing is simply to remain below an altitude of about 400 miles. In that case, there's very little problem. And uh, then there are also two cones, as we call them, cones of escape around the north and south magnetic poles. Now, one can go out along a path lying in either one of those cones and, and uh, bypass the inner radiation zone. Uh, also, if one goes out to a great enough distance, the intensity of radiation dwindles away and there's no problem again beyond about uh, 40,000 miles from the Earth. I think this shows uh, what cooperation between different law enforcement agencies can do. And I want to say again that we are going to continue this dry up campaign, this enforcement of the whiskey laws, so long that it, that it is the law of this state. And unless the people, by their action Tuesday, repeal prohibition, we shall continue this the best that we can to enforce the whiskey laws of this state.